your energy forecast for Tuesday, September 17th. Okay, so welcome to the full moon lunar eclipse taking place at 25 degrees of Pisces energy. We are in the thick of it as of this particular juncture, and we are definitely in for a full moon on steroids. So I'm going to give you a rundown. If you haven't listened to this particular astro forecast for this event, I'm going to recommend you do so. If you haven't listened to the special edition episode that I put out for this particular event, you're going to want to do that. Download your moon guide, listen to your September Zodiac forecast, get your Virgo season e-guide out and flip to this particular chapter. We are getting a taste of a topic, a theme, a life lesson that we will be learning probably the hard way from now until 2027. It's a major event. It's the first of seven of these eclipse events that will be taking place on the Virgo and Pisces axis. And this is essentially the bridge being built, getting us out of the old and helping to push us into the new. There's a lot of karma here, a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of triggering here. There's a lot of change and transformation here, especially where our goals, our visions, our dreams are concerned. So download all the things. There are so many different resources out there. You should not be sleeping on yourself. You got to do the work. You're getting pretty late in the game to just, you know, listen and absorb this information instead of observing, integrating and putting it into practice, putting it into action. So major, major day on our hands. Again, in the moon guide, you will see all of the aspects popping off under the exact moment that this full moon peaks. And of course, you know, we have a whole day of building up to this particular event because it is taking place at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a lot of the energies here today are going to be a back and forth seesaw. Just think of Pisces energy as the waves in the ocean. And of course, when you're riding on the top of the wave, things are looking pretty good. They feel pretty good, but falling off of that wave, we definitely take a tumble. And it is going to be an energetic let's call it washer machine type of day. If you haven't listened to the Ascension forecast that I put out for this week, I'm going to recommend you do that as well. A lot of the energy symptoms that we discussed in that particular episode are definitely popping off under this particular influence. This is our major event that we have going on here this week and technically this month and technically this fall. And so it is very important especially seeing as we are in a closure chapter that we are wrapping up the loose ends of the past and we are trying to at least initiate the cornerstone foundation of the new structures and foundations of the new vision goal and dream we definitely have to be consciously aware of what is going on and of course that pisces energy pushes us into delulu land so we have to strike a balance again download all the resources listen to all the things you'll have a much better understanding of what you need to be focused on and how this particular energy will be impacting you so here today, we have 10 different aspects popping off as we're building to this major pop-off event here late in the day, and nine of the 10 are going to involve the moon. So jumping right into it, the moon in Pisces in a direct opposition with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of Virgo season. Of course, in his rulership, we are at odds. Our emotions are telling us one thing. Our ideas, our thoughts, our inner dialogue telling us another. Our dreams, our visions telling us one thing. Our logical, practical mind telling us another. Our heart, the moon, not on the same page as our headspace, Mercury. We are definitely going to be very aware of that distance, of that disconnect. And we are going to, again, flop back and forth from our heart space to our headspace and back again, attempting to bridge the gap attempting to bring these two very different, let's call it energies into alignment. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Pluto. Pluto being the great transformer at the final degrees of this Capricorn energy, of course, a major key player under this moon event. More of that in the moon guide. The moon and Pluto are definitely intensifying things as if things weren't intensified enough. However, we have to sit in the darkness. We have to sit in the funk, especially coming out of that opposition. We have to be illuminated on where it is that we are running and hiding and living into Lulu land and creating a false reality and where it is that we're resisting actually dealing with what is 
and instead really creating a realm of reality around what could be. Pluto, although he does want us to kind of boss up and be empowered, he does kind of, I'm going to say, push us into the deep end to learn the hard way. And so emotionally speaking, the moon in Pisces and Pluto, of course, retrograde and Capricorn energy, a good illumination of what needs to end. And again, where the fears are holding us at back from providing said endings. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who is retrograde and Taurus energy, another key factor, key player under this moon event. Emotionally speaking, we are going to have a sudden shift of empowerment, a sudden shift onto the solutions instead of being focused on the problems. Now, this is definitely going to kind of get ants in our pants a little bit. We are kind of reared up, ready to go. We're willing to take a pretty spontaneous risk, if I do say so myself, if it means breaking away from the monotony, the same old, same old, the looping patterns and behaviors that of course have created this current reality that of course we are trying to now move out of. The moon is going to come up to bump into team up with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, rolling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, discipline, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy. Again, trying to wrap up a 30 year cycle, again, trying to deconstruct a lot of the old world, the old system, the old structures, the old belief system that created, generated our current reality. And so this is a conjunction. There's just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. We are starting to get serious and somber around Again, the loose ends that need to be tied up before we can venture on this new path, in this new quest, in this new direction to build something new. We do have to, again, realize where it is that we are closing emotional and karmic chapters, whether we want to or not. And that releasing, surrendering to that dead weight definitely going to help free us up to focus our energy on the new things that we want to build and create. The moon is going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in her rulership in Libra energy. Of course, we want everything to be happy, go lucky. We want peace, harmony, and balance. We want love. We want everybody to get along. Now, the moon interacting with Venus in this way is definitely going to illuminate some very strong emotions coming in. The emotions surrounding our happiness, our joy, our safety, our security, our relationship dynamics, our financial situations. We are focused on the positives at this time. We are focused on what it is that we want more of, what it is that we want to create more of in our day-to-day -day life. And of course, leaning all the way into the good is going to empower us to deal with providing an ending to the bad. The moon is going to get into the boxing ring, though, square off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. And again, this is kind of like where we're having a problem, where there's a growing pain. And emotionally speaking, we're dreamy, we're imaginative, we're creative, we're intuitive, we're with our higher self, we're dreaming the biggest dream. We know that anything is possible if we can get our mind, our body, our soul right. However, Jupiter, who usually supports our beliefs, is tied up in the logical, practical, rational, mental plane of the Gemini energy, weighing the pros and cons. And again, in the Gemini energy, we aren't really as fixated on hopes, on wishes, on dreams as we are on the matter of facts. And so we are having a little bit of a growing pain right now on trying to even identify what the dream, the goal, the vision actually is in the parameters of what is actually realistic, what is achievable, what is obtainable. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is definitely going to boss us up, put a pep back in our step. We are kind of moving out of that growing pain tension. We're starting to realize how much growing we've actually already done, how much we've been able to heal, how much better we're functioning, how much better we're taking care of ourselves, how much stronger we're feeling, how much we actually trust ourselves and how confident we actually feel by coming up to this next roadblock, this next obstacle, this next chapter. We are really kind of pushing Pushing the boundaries of the discomfort that we've been sitting in. We want to illuminate where it is that we're having a hard time letting go of the past, where we're having our hard time growing up, bossing up and addressing those particular concerns. We're looking to heal. We're looking to evolve. We're looking to grow. Now, just as we're coming out of a positive energy, the moon is going to make a harsh interaction with Venus. So we had a positive interaction not that long ago. And here's the thing that happens. 
just when you realize what is working, just realizing who and what makes you happy, realizing what brings you happiness and joy, bringing a new realization of what it is that you want for yourself into your awareness. Just when you do that, you realize all the things that are standing in your way from actually building and creating that realm and that reality. This emotionally speaking is hitting us like a ton of bricks where it is now that we know that we have to make some changes that we know we have to let some people go where we know we have to kind of start making that pivot point of closing the door and blazing the path into a new path, a new direction. That's pretty scary. Comes with a long list of things to do. It also comes with the title of being the bad guy in other people's realms and other people's storylines. Venus and Libra and energy, that is the last thing that we want to do. But we're starting to realize that we have a lot of fear holding us back of doing those things. We have a lot of doubt whether or not those are the right things to be doing. We have a lot of insecurities whether or not we have what it takes to actually do what is needed to break us out of the old mold and set us up to be a little bit more comfortable in the new. The only aspect here today that does not involve the moon is Mercury. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in his rulership in Virgo energy, in his rulership over Virgo season, a key factor here in this full moon lunar eclipse in Virgo energy, Mercury is meeting up with Pluto. Pluto being the great transformer, he's retrograde in Capricorn energy, giving us a last good look at the old structures, the old foundations, the old remnants of the old version of self, where it is that we were trapped, where it is that we were restricted, where it is that we're limited, where it is that we're confined. And again, we have to kind of be dragged through the darkest parts of our experience in order to actually boss up, see it from a different lens, realize where it is that we have to take power and control, not only over our external situations, but over our mind, over our narrative, over our inner dialogue. Yes, this may reveal some hidden truths, some hidden information that will jolt us off of our ass. It is a lunar eclipse, by the way. However, it is this information that needs to come forth in order for us to wrap our head around it, flip the script, build ourselves back up in a much better way and become tunnel visioned on how it is that we're going to fix it, heal it, solve it and repair it. Definitely pressure in the headspace. So the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon coming into opposition with the sun. And this is what gives us our full moon lunar eclipse taking place in Pisces energy. Again, there is a lot of information out there. There are guides, resources, workbooks. There are forecasts. There are audio podcasts. There are, are classes. You got to do a deep dive on where this particular energy is scratching the surface of your awareness. This is something that is going to be a major transformation for us from now until 2027.